Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar so they can relax, have fun, and be part of a great online community. This is going to be a little tune on Can't You See by the Marshall Tucker Band, a great for a beginner lesson, with a little bit of a work on the strum pattern. I'll play it through, then I'll show you how to play it. Before we get started, I want to thank you for your support and for subscribing to the Relax Learn Guitar YouTube channel. And be sure and click that notification bell to get notifications whenever I have new lessons coming out. Okay, here we go. A little Marshall Tucker. This is Relax and Learn Guitar. It's not Relax and Learn How to Sing. So I'm going to play the song, sing it a little bit so you can get the idea, and then we'll go from there. train down at the station I don't care where it goes gonna climb a mountain the highest mountain lord gonna jump off nobody gonna know can't you see can't you see what that Hope you get the idea of the song there. My voice is kind of low, but in any case, a uh, great song for beginners. You're going to need to learn a couple of chords, obviously. First one's a D chord. If you haven't played that one in a while, you got your index finger on the uh, third string, second fret, your middle finger on the first string, second fret, and your ring finger on the second string, third fret. The D chord. That's what it starts on. Then you got a C. C chord, you got index finger on the second string first fret. You've got your middle finger on the fourth string uh, second fret. And you've got your ring finger on the fifth string third fret. That's your C chord. And a G chord. Index finger, fifth string second fret. Your middle finger, sixth string third fret and your ring finger on the first string third fret. The great thing about this is you just need those three chords, three chords in the truth, and you're good this song down. So a D, a C, and a G. Now, there is a strum pattern for this song, obviously. I'm going to suggest if you're a true beginner, we're just going to do all down strums until you get used to changing these chords. So it's totally fine to play. You're going to start on a D. Take it nice and slow. You're going to tap that toe. When your toe hits the ground, you're going to strum down. Just four down strums on the D. Four down strums on the C. Four on the G. And back to the D for four. Nice and steady. Just focus on the rhythm and being in time. So start that way, and you can play the whole song that way. Just uh, strum along with the record, play those uh, uh, chords in that order. D, C, G, and D with four down strums. Once you got that going, you can change those uh, chords with no problem, and you got them nice and smooth, sounding clean. Move on to the strum pattern. Just go ahead and first mute your strings. I'll slow this down. So you have down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. But only move on to this once you've got those four strums down. Starts on a D. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. 
I get asked a lot about those up strums and if you have to hit all six strings and the answer is no. For this D uh, chord you're going to make sure you're hitting like at least the four strings, uh, four, three, two, and one. You hit a couple of those fifth strings in there, that's okay. And you don't really play the sixth string. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. To the C. When you strum down on that C, you want to start on the fifth string down. And for those up strums, if you only hit the first two or three, four strings, it's fine. G. Now the G, you're going to hit all six strings. Back to the D. If you got that pattern, you got the entire song. Down, down, up, down, up. And that's the entire tune. Uh, for the intro and for the really cool musical with the flutes and stuff, there's a lot of stuff going on in this song. You can just strum those, so those four chords over and over. In the intro, the four down strums work just fine. Same thing for the instrumental. Play around with it and have fun with it. So I hope you liked that lesson. Make sure and click the like button if you did. You're going to want to check out a link in the description below. You can sign up and get this song and along with two others in a free three song bundle sent right to your inbox. So click the link in the description to check that out. Thanks again for subscribing and uh, supporting here on the Relax Learn Guitar YouTube channel. And I'll see you for the next lesson.